Thank you for investing your time to learn about GeoSierra and our specialized trenchless technology for installing permeable reactive barriers, better known as PRBs. GeoSierra is a highly specialized firm focusing on the design and installation of PRBs. We complete each project on a firm fixed price basis and warrant that each PRB will be installed according to all specifications for height, depth, length, and thickness. By eliminating the need for a trench, GeoSierra has broken through the shallow depth limits of trenched PRB construction methods. We've been perfecting our trenchless technology since its discovery in 1992 and is well established with 15 full-scale PRBs installed, five of which extend deeper than 100 feet. Because it only requires a six inch borehole approximately every 15 feet, our trenchless method is agile for working around underground utilities, close to active manufacturing sites and high urban traffic areas, and even within an active railroad right of way where trenching is not permitted because of the potential damage to the railroad track. And because trenching is not necessary, the process is clean and urban friendly, generating only minimal soil disruption and waste disposal issues to deal with. By the late 90s, proprietary design, equipment, tools, and QAQC had been perfected to a point where four patents were awarded from 99 through 2002. The trenchless PRB consists of a wall of permeable iron filings which are transported to the subsurface by a high purity gel consisting of water and a food grade starch, hydroxypropyl guar, or HPG. The gel in this form is water soluble and kept in these 3,000 gallon storage tanks and then pumped to the frac mix hopper. The iron filings and uncrosslink gel are mixed by the frac mix unit with the enzyme and crosslinker added on the pressure side of the duplex frac pump. The crosslink gel, now in its highly viscous form, has the strength to propagate the fracture and carry the iron filings to their destination. Within a few hours, the enzyme breaks the gel into water and sugar, leaving a wall of permeable iron filings. How we actually do this is we do this by an injection technology which uh, is under very low pressure and basically just displaces the soil and puts this iron PIB in the ground. Each one of these wells, they aren't wells, they are frac casing systems and Sam Wells is showing one here. It consists of two segments and these segments are aligned along the azimuth in this direction of the PRB and in this particular PRB, there's four of these in each one of these casing systems from a depth of 100 feet up to 18 feet. To inject the gel and iron filings, six inch boreholes are drilled approximately every 15 feet on the azimuth or bearing of the PRB. The pre-aligned frac casings are then installed and a downhole camera and compass are used to verify the casings are properly aligned in the borehole. With proper alignment confirmed, the casings and feeder pipe are then grouted in with cement to be tightly packed in the formation. The PRB is built from the bottom up with packers placed in the feeder pipe to seal off the injection target area. Here we see a close-up of the packers being inflated. The gel and iron filings are then injected at low pressure, typically 100 to 200 PSI, depending on depth, causing the casing to dilate along its entire length, creating a vertical and lateral fracture pathway for the gel and iron filings to follow. The frac wells are injected alternately with the odd-numbered wells first. This is done in order to harness the power of pore pressure relief, so absolute control of each frac pathway can be assured. The packers from one and three are then pulled and the wells are open to the atmosphere, providing the pore pressure relief pathway that ensures a continuous and completely coalesced PRB with no gaps or voids. With the lower section completed, the casings are washed out and the process is repeated to complete the PRB. And again, pore pressure relief assures both vertical and lateral coalescence. With our patented active resistivity imaging technology, we're able to see in real time each PRB segment as it's being formed. The red image simulates the 100 hertz signal being transmitted by the electric lake sided gel and iron filings. This signal is picked up by the downhole receivers and is being transmitted to our frac track computer system. Because it's conductive, as each new segment coalesces with the neighboring vertical and lateral segment, it in effect closes the circuit, lighting up the entire coalesced portion of the PRB. The trenchless technology is ideal for sensitive urban sites like Kelly Air Force Base, where 2,100 feet of PRBs were installed in 2004 beneath two-lane streets congested with underground and overhead utilities in the city of San Antonio. Because there were no trenches, the project was safe 
and minimally disruptive for the residents of the community. The best possible location for the other 1,500 foot long PRB completed for Kelly Air Force Base in 2005 was within an active railroad right of way, only 26 feet from the track. Trenching this close to the railroad tracks would be out of the question, but GeoSierra's trenchless technology made the installation feasible and acceptable to the railroad company. As you can see, the footprint required for the frac equipment setup is flexible, allowing operations in tight spaces with an installation reach of up to 200 linear feet of the PRB without having to move. At Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma, there were no site access problems or urban density issues, but damage to wildlife habitat had to be minimal during construction, allowing for full restoration of the site to its natural state upon completion of the PRB installation. The Tinker PRB had to extend from a depth of 70 feet to 95 feet below ground surface in an aquifer containing interbedded layers of cemented sandstones. Very tough geology, but not too tough to keep a 500 foot long PRB containing 330 tons of iron from being installed by the trenchless technology. In the early 80s, DuPont discovered groundwater contamination at this former manufacturing site in Oakley, California, bordering the San Joaquin River in the Bay Area. After evaluating alternative remedies, DuPont, with regulator approval, decided to install a pilot PRB in early 2001. Represented here by the yellow line, the pilot PRB is 110 feet long and extends from a depth of 45 feet to 115 feet deep. With the pilot PRB's outstanding success, DuPont engaged GeoSierra to complete the balance of the PRB to its full-scale dimensions in 2005. Here you see a clay layer separates the upper and lower aquifer. So to avoid vertical migration of the contaminants, two PRBs were installed in parallel. The first PRB extends 375 feet in length from the pilot at a depth from 55 feet to 115 feet below ground surface. Upgradient, a second PRB 485 feet in length extends from the depth of 30 feet to 60 feet. The PRBs overlap to intercept a saturated sand lens running through the clay layer, but do not penetrate completely through the layer thus eliminating any chance of vertical migration of contaminated groundwater. The Oakley site is a perfect example of how passive, in-situ, permeable reactive barriers are the ideal remedy for remediating deep groundwater and also protecting the wetlands. 